зовут Александр Попов. My name is Alexander Popov. I co-founded Archimatica 14 years ago with my business partner Dmitry Vasiliev. I work in Kiev, and the city continues to look grey, plain and uninteresting. We wanted our work to change the look of the city. We realized that the two of us couldn't do it all. We needed a team, so we started to grow the business. At first, we had a small office, 16 square meters in total, with two assistants, there were four of us. Just a year later, our team included 20 people, and then more, and more, and more. That's how in 14 years, our office in Kiev expanded to 260 specialists. The company was growing. We hired designers and engineers. Engineers, architects and designers um, are working with a building information model, uh, so we make a best uh, design decision for saving customers time and money. We are switching to BIM during the crisis period in uh, uh, 2008, so we have a huge project and we have to do it maximally quickly uh, with a good performance, with a good uh, economical indicators and so on. It's a huge shopping center with a floor area of 300,000 square meters. Back then, it was the biggest shopping center in Eastern Europe. That's when I realized, along with everyone else, that the shortage of architects was not as significant as the shortage of BIM specialists. We have drastically restructured all our processes, starting from the data organization structure in the IT infrastructure. My role in a company to help people collaborate with each other, to make it uh, like an efficient process involving different platforms, different software solutions, different um, remote people and groups working outside of the office. And we are trying to use open beam technologies like a core principle of our uh, working process, working workflow of all of this stuff. If we can create a unified environment to connect these solutions, we are creating a convenient, comfortable and therefore an effective platform for everyone. Well, the main challenge uh, or challenges at first, uh, they are people. You know, actually you could uh, set up your program, you can stop your software, but you can never set up the people, so you have to convince them to use special tools, to use special methodology. I believe this experience is also important. It's not just about programming and designing, but about working with other people, and sometimes treating them like children in a good way. The number of tools uh, varies from the stages of the project. For example, if we are talking about the schematic stage, we are using a lot of different stuff. For example, Maya, 3D Max, Rina with Grasshopper. This building, uh, you see it here when we go to facade design. This time we use a collaboration from uh, Rina and Grasshopper, to then to Archicad, and then we gave this field of view to the architects. We can use uh, all this information on the early stage to estimate costs, to predict the sizes. We got another uh, kind of analysis tools which analyze the insulation and uh, sunlight uh, analysis, uh, also an energy efficiency. So they really helps us to build our huge projects, huge residential complex. It's really like a huge boost from the start of the project and it saves a lot of uh, our time. As architects, our role is key to the project. We prepare models and assignments for design departments and engineering departments. After they perfect their models, we gather them all into our own model to check everything, see how it all works, what has and hasn't hit the capital, what went between the beams. So at first, uh, architects give us uh, an IFC model with the current state of the project design. We are incorporating this model to the Revit environment. We are using our um, CDE, common data environment inside the company with uh, strict rules, with a strict naming system and with automatized uh, checking uh, solution helps us to understand how we are saving our files, how we are storing it. 
Well, we have two remote branches outside the office and we also use in teamwork like a um, primary tool, especially for ArchiCAD users. And we just use a VPN connection uh, to connect people directly to the, our network or sometimes we just could use a remote IP. All of them begin to collaborate using the BCA format. So we have some issues, we have some uh, clashes and all of this could be exported using the BCA format and transferred into any other solution. I can tell you that we showed this preliminary design, showed it last year, and this year uh, we have three floors built already. Thanks to Archicad and BIM models, we can release documentation dynamically, based on construction needs. Then, when we have the entire complex model, we know what kind of risks to expect in the future. We can therefore issue documentation for construction in stages without completing the entire design. That's what developers need today. Actually, if we talk about client, they want to spend less money and have the better result to uh, sell their products uh, better and faster. So that's probably the biggest challenge, to save the money of the client and to make uh, the space uh, which we create uh, uh, ideal for people. A creative architect's job is about inventing new things. Architects have to invent new things. The future is with open BIM.